It has, though, been a very tough week for people living in St. Joseph, along with businesses here dealing with the extreme cold and the blackouts. Some who had to spend most of yesterday without any lights or heat on, sharing their experience and their frustration. KQ2's Ron Johnson with that tonight. There may not have been any more power interruptions Wednesday, but the after effects were in full swing for one local business. We'll just like catch up and we'll get it done. Staff at the market were hard at work for much of the day, printing shirts and stitching hats after having to close their doors all day Tuesday because of a prolonged power outage. We had to shut down our shop. It was pretty bad because we have a lot of machines here that require ink to circulate through. If those get below a certain temperature, 68 degrees, we start having problems. The owner says the rolling blackout started in her area near the Belt Highway and Beck Road around 7 a.m. What should have been an hour-long interruption instead lasted several. We were definitely not anticipating seven hours. Others who live in the area impacted had an even longer wait. It was a total of eight hours with no power, no heat. Um, I'm asthmatic. Into the eight hours, I'm wheezing. I mean, it was it was horrible. They said the search for answers wasn't easy either, as calls to Evergy didn't make it through. I call two, three times in a row at that point. Every time I call, click me off in the middle of it. Okay, well, now I'm cold and mad. The lights may have since come back on, but not before serious damage was done to expensive equipment. One machine is messed up in which we'll have to replace some parts in it. Now, frustrated residents saying what they'd like to see more of from the power company the next time an outage occurs. Communication more than anything. Don't just leave us in the dark, pretty much. <laughs> Ron Johnson, KQ2 News. Staff at the market say it will now cost thousands of dollars to repair their damaged equipment. A car accident at the intersection of Belt Highway and Beck Road likely also prolonged that area's rolling blackout.